one time for me that I really remember at food is when I was first given my, my copy of Roald Dahl's Revolting Recipes. And it has um, things like Mr. Twit's beard made of chips or stick jaw toffee for parents. So you give them this toffee, it's wonderful, and then they can't speak anymore and tell you off. Um, so, you know, making a mess in my mother's kitchen uh, with that recipe book was, was wonderful. So, how and I started Bobson Park in uh, 2007. Over the years at Bobson Park, we've been called many things culinographers, architectural foodsmiths, culinary deviants. Um, we now call ourselves experienced designers. For us, all our projects deal with food, which is something that's axiomatic to human existence. We all need to eat. But uh, what we try and do is elevate that to the realm of entertainment. So it's taking people on a narrative journey, you're creating whole worlds, you're creating actors, you're creating scripts. So I guess creating these experiences for us is a, is a real swashbuckler. The first thing you learn about working food is just being generous. Like, you know, it's like giving people that extra moose bouche if they're unhappy. More drinks, great! And suddenly they're really happy again, or certainly in this country. There was uh, one experience where I accidentally uh, drank a load of methylated spirits just as I was about to wait the table and go into service. After I'd done this, I realised that methylated spirits is the thing that makes you go blind. Now, looking up quickly on my phone, there were two, two um, antidotes to this. One, you could be rushed to hospital, but couldn't let the dinner service down. The other is to drink an incredibly large amount of ethanol. So it meant that every horse we had to smash down four shots just to ensure we didn't go blind, which is a very, very difficult service, um, but quite a rat as well. Ultimately, everything we do is about um, getting time in people's brains. Then it's just totally engrossing someone when they're there and hopefully doing it in such a way that at the end, so they might have had a great time, they can remember everything and they want to tell people about it. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.